Hello, this is Evan Plays, and today I'm going to be reviewing the IKV-91. And uh, first, we're going to look at the armor. And um, basically, it's a glass cannon. There's no armor at all. Um, the this is I think it's one of the earliest tanks to uh, no the a bunch of tank destroyers and Americans have heat FS. But yeah, this uh, heat FS just goes through anything at this BR. So you kind of just have to flank and not get seen at all. You'll see, if you're not on the Germans, you'll see a bunch of Tiger 2s. And, um, and the Americans kind of have a lot of uh, lightly armored, except like the T-34. But if you get up tiered, um, you kind of just have to, um, kind of, you can't be spotted or, because yeah just sometimes you won't be able to go through with your shell but um when you're down tiered you, you'll go through anything and um yeah i'm up tiered in this match um because you can see the t32 which is um i, I don't remember if it's, it's a 7.0 uh, um i know the e1 is 77 but i don't know about the the first one and um I played this before the update, and I don't remember this weird sound that it makes, uh, like the, it's just like metal rattling, I don't really know what it is, but, uh, yeah, that's like the only thing I've noticed differently after the update, and, um, yeah, what I'm gonna try to do is try to, um, go in the middle of A and B, and try to hit people going to A. And I find a pretty good spot. I don't think I've ever been to this spot. It's probably... People probably use it all the time. I just never noticed it. But, yeah. Uh, I normally, when I play this map, I spawn from the other side. So I'm not quite used to spawning over here. And, yeah. the um, This... this I really like this tank. And especially with the laser rangefinder. And, um... It's got a scout or uh, yeah scouting thing with binoculars and uh, I kind of feel scummy using bushes but um, they really help out when, with a small tank like this and how you can't or you just if you're looked at you're you're gonna die I don't know if um, machine guns can go through it but um, if not that it that's probably pretty good but any shell will go through this and you kind of just need to play um, defensively and like passively. You can't brawl with it. Um, yeah, I'll just let this play out and I'll come back. Back at this uh, footage, definitely don't do what I'm doing, going back and forth. 
that's just making a lot of noise for no reason because there's like not many people around and if there was someone up, up over this hill they'd know exactly where I am so yeah it's just definitely like, stay as quiet and um, defensive as possible Higher than it, and you shoot down on it, it probably for sure would. But yeah, the um, I don't know if uh, since the last update, if they increased the diesel engine noises, because I don't know, they're so loud. Uh, maybe I'll have to turn down the engine volume. But um, yeah, this this is basically uh, my review of it. I, uh, I haven't gotten that far in this video three. I've gotten like six, seven. Uh, or 7 0 since the STRV, or S, yeah, STRV 81. No, it is ST, no, STRV 81. And, yeah, that Tiger 2, I was super blind in CM. I almost got my friend to kill, because if I didn't, or, I don't know, but I almost got him killed. I'm not seeing him. Um, yeah, this is the near the end of my review of it, um, and I think this is definitely a really good thing. Uh, you gotta play passive, defensive, you basically have no armor, but like you got a really good round with the 90mm. Um, 
so just watch out, watch for or good for positions to hold up on and look for people rushing. Um, if you do that, you should be fine and get, get a bunch of kills. Alright, if you like the video, um, please uh, comment uh, what vehicle I should do different. And yeah, please subscribe.